kind of keep it away from enemy mobs and stuff like that. There's also on this opposite side a chest of kind of like weapons and tools that we need to bring with us. Okay. Uh, the forest that I built either side of it, um, just to kind of so that we'd have supplies of the wood, go too far. As I said, we'll come back. We were going to come back to this area here. Ben built this whole pier out by himself, called Robert Perez. Clever pun there, don't you think? And the most recent thing we built out in the actual village before I take it out to a second location is this area here. Right. I'm just kind of well, let's eat some steaks so that I can sprint. Oh, very polite young man there in the chat. The internet really I found to be the home of positivity, the real epicenter of it. Um, but I built this whole path out, so but I can take the credit for the little lighthouse we have. You can't really see it uh, as well during the day, but uh, Ben managed to build some glowstone lamps that rotate around like a, a semi-legit lighthouse at the top of it. That's a big old lighthouse, it's like 10 or 12 stories tall I think. When you go up inside, there's a big ladder that goes up to different levels inside it. We literally have no idea yet what we're going to do with whether we're going to put anything on the inside or not. But, um, that's the crack with that. Okay, so that's the kind of the core of our village. And then, um, we kind of, we, we have some, like, some barns and stuff lying around the place that we breed animals in so that we have food and, um, Outside of that, we have started traveling outside the village. I say started. We've been doing it all along, like going for trying to find mine shafts or trying to find other villages and stuff like that in our pursuit of um, rare objects and food and the like. So let's do a bit of that traveling. Again, like the hours Ben spent uh, t doing this path don't really bear thinking about it because again you have to remember like the back cave is right under the center of this town so as he's going around and kind of chipping away one square to plant one square of the path uh, he's nearly collapsing and dying uh, every single block because of course neither of us are intelligent enough to not dig directly under ourselves so they come down here uh, a creeper recently sort this area out and I have to repair at some point. Uh, I built a waterfall there just for want of anything better to do one day. But um Well if Mark says so that must be the rule. So unlucky for you KWS. Um yeah so this is the most recent kind of train station I built uh to go traveling out uh these trapdoors are down to one of our early mine shafts that we built in the game um where we kind of we before i built this train station over it we had a look down there again and there was kind of areas we hadn't explored so we're not willing to seal that up yet which is why the pa uh, the ground in here is unfinished but um uh, let's go on a journey out through some of the kind of the rail systems i've built and uh, myself and ben have built so let's go on a journey i've covered this whole area in glass because we were finding a lot of the time that we go travel out, particularly when it's getting dark, that um, enemy mobs will just spawn in the middle of the tracks. Uh, and either if they're creepers, they'd blow up because they'd see us. Or so <laughs> if it was another enemy mob that was just standing there, the minecart would bounce off it and then fly back in the other direction and we'd be back home, which was endlessly frustrating. So Ben built the tracks here, whereas I built the tunnel and very, very recently put the, uh, the glass over everything. Right. 
So this is, we call this, we named this central station after terrible footballer Noel Hunt. This is Noel Hunt Central Station, as you can see. And we have all trains to Bentner Station, all trains back home, because we still, despite the fact that we have a great knack for naming things after shift ball, footballers like buildings and train tracks and stuff, we still haven't come up with an actual name for our town. And much like a car or a guitar or anything like that, you have to name everything just because. And then, where is this? Oh yeah, here. All trains to a Neil Heskey station as well, which Mark is going to pop big for, I'm sure. Okay, so we'll go out because there's not much to see out here. So we'll go quickly out to Bentner Station. And this is kind of like, um, this was the first direction we went in when we started building train tracks. Dave Town, we got to be a bit more inventive than that, Mark bit more inventive than that especially because like ben would get the hump properly if uh, i started naming it all after myself i still have to come out here and build glass over the top um you know all in due course so yeah you can see where a lot of my free time ends up going and why i have such a lengthy backlog so we'll hit the slap track here and we'll be able to there's like, if you go out that door, there's a little gorge right behind there. It's a little bit better, Mark, a little bit better. If you head out that way, there's like a little gorge down there that we found a lot of coal and iron in. But um, this way really, do it doesn't head uh, to anywhere hugely significant. This kind of big open area, a uh, couple of gorges out this way. And it's where we've been kind of experimenting. We're trying to figure out how to... Um, We've seen a lot of YouTube videos about how you kind of, you can traverse the world much quicker if you start interlinking um, nether portals. So we have a nether portal here, but uh, the problem is for some reason, like Ben has terrible internet and terrible luck as well. So when he goes through this portal and then tries to exit back out through the corresponding portal in the nether, he ends up teleporting on top of a tree up there somewhere, um, which is, not ideal for him uh, there's a little gorge down that way that we kind of have tentatively explored anyway right let's go back to the kind of the final location before i knock off here because we're coming up on 25 minutes here i was thinking it would only take 15 at best so we'll head back to Noel hut central station the reason it's called Noel Hut after Noel Hunt is because there was originally um, a hut. Well, it's still there, but we kind of we've taken everything out of it and don't really use it anymore. Um, a hut near that station. So I'll go back to... I do like this view, and that's why I want to cover the tunnels over with glass rather than earth, is so you can actually see something. Originally, I was just covering everything in earth just because it's easier, because earth is more plentiful, and you don't have to, like, smelt anything. But uh, I think now my new philosophy is to go and cover everything in glass. Right, so we're going to Emil Heskey Station. And this again just finished recently the glass covering for everything and kind of this was the particular area where enemy mobs just kept spawning because as you'll see we kind of during the last last covered area here before we make it to the station there was just an awful lot of fucking enemy mobs coming out of the jungle and landing on here so this is another one of my train stations Hack this out of the way before the enemy mobs start coming. And this, we call this the Ender Village. Like, we literally just found this one day when we were rambling. Um, in search of something in particular that I will point out quite shortly. It's getting dark, so I'm going to hang out. I've occupied, after we killed everybody in this town as well, I occupied the library as my house. I'll just pop off to sleep before i show you the final couple of things um this kind of area is still in development we have no real idea what we're going to do with it yet except we're growing a lot of crops out here just because there's the room to do so um underneath most of this village like if you just dig one block or two blocks down there's like massive massive drops um it was real kind of 
booby trapped. Um, I'm trying to think where would be the best example of that. Maybe around here. Yeah, look. Oh no. Yeah, that's mo that's moss stone down there. But if you dig a couple below where that moss stone is, I think there's like a massive gorge that goes down like 20, 30 blocks that have uh, cost myself and Ben many lives at that point. At certain points, I know you've been silly and dug straight down. But yeah, this village happened to be a creeper got that house as well. And Ben's house in the process one day. We happened upon this village while we were searching for something very particular. You see the little tower right there in the crosshairs that we built up. This is riveting stuff I know. Nice squid. So this little tunnel goes all the way down. Ben put up artwork here to make us look like classy people when he was building this winding staircase. Go all the way down. And try not to fall. And this Leads us. Minecraft players will know exactly by the look of this place where it's obviously leading us. The end portal, which we're, as you can see, in the process of building. Um, I know kind of from looking online that uh, you can have end portals with anywhere up to three eyes of the end are already placed in them out of the twelve. But we had none, so we're kind of um, slowly building that up. We've noticed kind of in survival mode anyway, since one of the more recent updates on PS4, that the Endermen are much more reticent to engage in combat and stay there until we've killed them, which is very helpful when you're trying to take Ender Pearls off them. Because they, even when they do stay and fight you until they die, they don't always drop them. So, um, I think that's pretty much everything that's in our world right now. I'll probably do some more of these Minecraft streams well, as we build more and kind of as we're, we're slowly uh, getting towards kind of actual progression in this game where we're going to, we have two of the three skulls together to fight a wither. So I might stream Ben's battle with the wither at some point uh, because he plans to take that thing on and beat it. He has seen a fairly solid strategy online that he thinks he will use because it worked in his own world once and uh, obviously then because it'll be the most fun of all watching us die repeatedly um, I will whenever we eventually decide to take on the end I'll uh, stream that as well I reckon but uh, from me Dave Ryan and from Mark in the chat I think that's about it I'm saying because I'm stalling, because I don't really know how to turn off the broadcasting on this, but look, we're all about to find out together. Um, but yeah, just to kind of whore out our stuff one more time, go to linktothecast.wordpress.com and check out the podcast link to the cast that we do every week. It's a fun time. And uh, yeah, have a good Sunday, ladies and germs. <laughs>